right, so here we go. A Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt looking to impose her will here tonight. She did tell us in the fighter meeting. She's starting to fall in love with her hands a little bit, but you got to think she's going to pursue a full fight here tonight. Yeah, John, the beauty of that is by developing the hands, you'll have to take them into account. Once you take it into account, she'll take it out. And once you're on the ground, man, it seems as though she is just in her world. It's like a fish to water. It's like Daniel Cormier to wrestle. <laughs> when you're on the ground, she is safe, yeah. and she is comfortable. And when she's that comfortable, she can beat anyone. She has handled the UFC nerves, the jitters pretty well as well. So stylistically, tough matchup on her hands. She believes she'll pass it here with flying colors. She developed a pretty good fan base on the jiu-jitsu circuit. And she's had some UFC success, largely due to her grappling. We'll see how she proceeds here tonight. Yeah, she's a tremendous grappler. I love watching her because I love watching how calm she is when the fight hits the floor. She never seems to panic. You can always see her processing move from one to move two to move three, whether it's getting back to her feet or trying to pull you further into those engagements. She does it at a extremely high level, and she's very fun to watch. Some have compared her to Mackenzie Dern, perhaps a little bit of a stretch, but there is no denying all of the skills and all of the layers to her jiu-jitsu game. We'll see if she can get it going tonight. All right, with that, the wait ends here. Both fighters have placed the octagon, and we are raring to go from a sold-out Eddie Hot Arena here in Abu Dhabi, UAE. Our tail to take for this our main event of the evening. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Jessica Panay. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mackenzie Dunn. So Herb Dean, third man right, in there right. for this one. Right. All right, so as we get the stand-up only fight underway, just a quick reminder on the rule set, no grappling or wrestling of any type and fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. There's a kick. All right, first round is underway. Many people expected a big storyline, and this one would be her jab. She's got a decided reach advantage here tonight. She is very long. She is very tall. She is very knowledgeable. Look for her to circle on the outside. Pop, pop, pop. The jab, and then let the big right hand or the big left follow. All right, so one minute into this fight and not much to dissect in terms of action. You may need to go use the restroom. You I might, mean, might be a good time. John, is it time? <laughs> Concession break. I'll be back with a hot dog. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Penny gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Good jab. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Work. Leg kick lands. Catches the kick there. We'll see what she can do with it. She does a great job breaking that clinch position. Oh, combination striking at its best. Another great sequence out of her there. 
she is just throwing everything with so much confidence. Every time she throws, she believes that she is going to land, and to this point, she has done just that. Lands with the lead right. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. She slips that left hand there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, nice kick. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, nice straight there by Penny. Great defense. She blocked that punch. Oh, what a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Oh, there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest from that one. All right, let's get you some replays from that previous round, DC. I thought she mixed it up beautifully on the feet. Yeah, she did a great job. I mean, she landed everything. She showed a complete example of what her mixed martial arts game has become as she's been in the UFC now for a little bit of time. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, so as this round gets underway, let's see if the high-level action continues. Both women had their moments in that previous round. Now we'll see if there's more aggression, and we'll see if one fighter can really take control. And she caught the kick. Well, in the clinch, but she's staying active. Beautiful punch to the head there. Kick to the body by Pennick. She blocked the punch. Let that one. Back and forth we go. She landed that shot to the leg. Oh, nice jab. Left hand connection and a right. Now lands a solid punch there. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Caught that kick there. All right, nice job, Bayer, to sort of shell up defensively here and prevent any of these shots from getting through. She is taking no damage because she's so on point defensively. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Effective use of the jab there by Jessica. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, beautiful jab. She has certainly found the range with that weapon, and I guess when you have a reach advantage like this, might as well use it. Come on, don't stand still. Good work. Don't and she caught the kick. She works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Nice body kick. Shot is blocked there by Pennant. Ooh, big shot lands. High kick, it's there, it's there, go! Just missed with that right hand. Ten seconds to go in the round. Round oh, next. You know she's landing way too many body shots. What's that about? Come on, look alive. 
Stay alert. Stay focused. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, so that last round, another pretty good frame for both fighters. We'll see which woman makes the requisite adjustments here in this next round. Somebody has to really get out ahead. It's too worrisome going to the judges when you know you've been involved in such a competitive fight. Three, four, five, push combination. Let's go. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did. They're probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. That was a big check. Oh, left hook. Durham's limping, that would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Just over three minutes to go. Push kick there to the body. Right hand lands. She throws her jab and then she sticks her chin up in the air when she jabs. She needs to keep that chin tucked when she throws that jab or kick. A lot of her technique leaves her chin flying up in the air. And she's getting countered. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here? I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Caught that kick there. She gets space and gets some separation. Oh, I thought she was going to get tagged there. Instead, slips her head off the center line. Man, those boxing chops paying dividends for her tonight. I mean, the very last moment, she just makes a slight movement, and her opponent misses and finds herself in really bad position. Misses with the right hand. Man, that thigh is starting to show some signs of bruising. She's almost smirking about it, right? But yeah. oh! not there. Well, her striking has been great tonight. Rocked her opponent pretty significantly, but you got to think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to get the finish. She should be disappointed that she didn't finish the fight. This would look like it was over. If she gets this opportunity again, she needs to go all out to try to finish the fight. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice defense. I thought that punch might get through. Oh. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so she survives to hear the final horn. What a round it was. And, of course, that knockdown midway through nearly got her out of there. Almost got her the finish, but now she needs to reset. Get ready to go back forward and try and secure a finish without forcing anything. It's very key that she does not get greedy. Go back and sit down at the table. Let it be said. Be patient. Have the first course. Have the second course. And on the third course, the main course, find your finish. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC chief among it, the big knockdown courtesy of that punch. A big knockdown off Ready of that fight. punch. She was flowing, Ready. letting everything go, and then she sat down on that strike that put her opponent down. It looked like the fight was over, but we do go forward. Nice kick, yep. Just misses there with the left. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight when her opponent is fatigued. You didn't see a lot of that from her earlier in the fight. She is certainly getting after it now. Try to establish that jab. Get out of there. Oh, big punch lands.
left punch on target tonight. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent's still standing. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Game of inches right there, boy. Oh. She lands a beautiful leg kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you got the Anderson Silva situation. Double leg takedown. She missed with that jab. Big shot lands for both guys. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Pennant. Just over two minutes now to go. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments, and her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. Early, you may not have been able to see how much of an effect this was taking on her, but now you see it. The game plan, everything's clear now, and we'll see her continue to do that as she tries to chase down the finish. What a punch. Under a minute now to go in this one. Oh, pinpoint placement on the straight punch there. She's got an extended reach advantage in this one and made good use of it there. Oh, you can see her limp it a little bit now. That leg is hurting for certain. And she misses with the left punch there. That punch didn't get through. Great defensive skills on display. Oh. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. Not bad, not bad. right? We're better than this. We work way too hard. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. You ready to fight? You ready? Fifth ready. and final round. Our next round is getting underway here, and conditioning has been a huge strength for both of these women in the past, and certainly something that they can lean on here tonight. I know it may sound cliche, but conditioning and cardio is key, and both of these young ladies have it in space. No more simple punches. Give me punches and punches. All right, so she continues to attack the body to great effect. Actually, some redness now underneath the elbow of her opponent. Yeah, she does a great job of attacking the body in multiple different ways, and it's starting to pay dividends for her. And she caught the kick. Oh, gorgeous straight punch there shortly after she catches the leg. So she has got her opponent's timing down to a T right now. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Stick that jab out there. Oh, nice. Able to land the left hand there. Get your range back. Get out of there. Let's go. Move those feet. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Okay. All right, nice body attack there, and damage really starting to pile up on that fighter's side. Well, she hasn't defended it. Yeah. Of course, it's starting to pile up. She's getting beat up. Oh! She is in a world of trouble. We'll see if she can survive. Just out of range with that right hand. Penne going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Body, Anything, let your hands go. Let's go. Give me a combination. 
on point with that jab today. Just out of range with that left hook. There's the kick. What a fight. Oh! Beautiful defensive skills on this play. Kick to the body there was a beaut. All right, keep pushing forward. Let's go. Oh, that's big. Oh, and there's the final horn. We go to the scorecards. One of the greatest fights that we have seen all year. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Jessica Panay! All right, so the judges are unanimous in their decision. She gets it done tonight. Big tests lie ahead. Tonight, she passed this one. You knew right away that this would be her toughest fight. And it showed itself in the octagon. Her opponent is a very skilled fighter. So the finish did not present itself. So what did she do? She dominated from start to finish and gets a unanimous decision.